All right, this is a practice test uh, for eighth grade TCAP. This is the math one, obviously. Uh, question number four. What is the value of the expression 1.5 times 10 to the 24th times 6 times 10 to the negative 12 over 2 times 10 to the third? Now, we can go about it the sort of longish way, if you so choose. And all I'm going to do with this one I'll raise it up just a little bit, is I'm going to think when I multiply the numbers, I need to add the exponents. Because if I have my order of operations, I tend to show it this way as some sort of weird modified, um, I used to make it a lot more obvious that it was supposed to be a pyramid, but let me do this a little bigger. Sorry for the delay. I changed my mind about how I was going to present in the middle, and I just decided not to redo it because I don't want to reprint it. So, as you can see, uh, when we're multiplying the numbers together, the lesser thing to multiply is to add them. So, for these exponents, I'm just going to add them together. So, I do 1.5 times 6, and I get 9. When I add the exponents on the top, anyway, as you can see, I'll do 24 plus negative 12. So 24 plus negative 12 is the same as 24 minus 12. So I get 9 times 10 to the 12. And I'm going to put that back over 2 times 10 to the 3rd. Now I've got a divide question. So what I'm going to do is um, divide the numbers. So it's right here. I do one less with the exponents. So I just subtract. So I do uh, 12 is bigger than 3, so I tend to circle it. 12 minus 3 is 9, so times 10 to the 9th. And then I do 9.2 or 9 divided by 2, I'm sorry, and I get 4.5. Conveniently enough, this one already gives me the uh, 4.5 form that I need it to, so I don't really have to change anything. So I get G as the answer for number 4. Another way you could do it for like the less interested in sitting there and spending your entire life punching in numbers and such things, or uh, spending your life trying to do this long math, is just to punch it in the calculator. In case you didn't know, the TI-84 has a fraction section, which is located uh, when you hit alpha, and then you hit y equals, and then this little menu pops up. That first one there, it's fractions. So you just push it in. Now all I have to do is type in 1.5 times 10 to the 24th, and close it, and then do 6 times 10 to the negative 12th. See, it looks just like the paper. And then, oops, it would help if I hadn't done that. Let me go back and flip that around again. Sorry about that. I realized that I'd done tons of stuff over the, uh, um, as an exponent, which would have been a really weird answer. So click out. That's the big thing. Once you finish the first one, click out. Then you can close it again. Don't be like me. Be smart. Just like that. Close that out, go below, and then I get parentheses 2 times 10 to the third. Close it, and you get this really big number, which is what should be converted into scientific notation. So all I'm going to do is flip the mode around a little bit. Say, hey, I want it in scientific notation. I'll quit. And it gives it to me 4.5 E9, which is 4.5 times 10 to the 9th. Both of those ways are completely acceptable ways to get the answer there. So whatever you want to do, do that and go on with your life.